Lately the question came up why your hair gets messy while driving a convertible. Hi, I'm Hendrik from Engineerdo and in this video I would like to answer a slightly different question. This question would be how big is the influence of these wind deflectors which come with newer convertibles. If you like this video then please give us a thumbs up that really supports the channel. Thanks! From this large eddy simulation I did before we can see that there is a significant air movement behind the windscreen of an old Porsche. The velocities are reaching values of up to 25 meters per second which is equal to a speed of 90 kilometers per hour. Since I have the simulation model it's very easy to add windows and the wind deflector at the rear to cover the passenger area of the car from peak velocities to test out how high the influence could be. Older cars like this Porsche had just the windscreen which results in a very elegant design. However later cars come with different types of deflectors which stall the airflow within the passenger area. When one is driving with a car, the airflow around the car leads to vortex shedding at the edge of the windscreen. These vortices can be sucked in the passenger area and will let your hair move. The same can happen if you open a window of the car, like little doggo shows us here. The vortices in this case are created on the window edge. I'm not planning to do post-processing on the velocities here, because to determine if your hair would fly in the wind, you also have to determine how much airspeed is necessary to let your hair fly. But what I can easily do is the determination of the air movements in the car and compare them with the same car in the exact same flow conditions with an air deflector installed. From the video without wind deflectors it's visible that the air is flowing back from the edge of the folded roof directly above the rear axle. These air streams are sucked behind the windscreen until they are dissolving or get included in the airflow around the car by being deflected to the top edge of the high speed flow. The backflow of the air can be blocked by putting a windscreen right behind the driver and the passenger seat. In the comparison of the simulation results it's now obvious that the wind deflector suppresses the backflow of the air very well. The maximum velocities are reduced to values of 5 meters in average. Only at the very end it can be seen that the peak velocities are 15 meters per second. I'm very sure that the wind deflector could be placed at a better place or height. I placed it pretty randomly in this simulation. If you have a good idea how I can improve the placement or shape, please leave a comment. Maybe I'll give it a try later and compare the result. Thanks for watching.